I have in front of me a Hikvision Junction uh, box. Um, it's uh, This is the outer box it comes in, this is the unit here itself. So it's obviously used in conjunction with Hikvision uh, cameras and it's allow you to uh, securely mount um, a, a Hikvision camera whilst um, hiding and protecting the actual uh, cables themselves. So there's two component parts basically to it. We have the foam type element here. Um, this will compress and give a very tight seal around it. Um, there's a total of effectively four holes here for bolts and they'll line up with the four bolts that are here. So we'd use that for mounting the camera directly onto it. Okay, And then on the back of the unit here itself, I'm just going to lift this up. On the back of the unit itself, you can see there's holes here, which you would actually use for mounting it directly onto the wall. Okay, so there's four holes there again. And we can see if you have plugs and screws, just forward them here for actually doing that. So um, how we feed the cable through from the camera? Well, we can do it if we had conduit, we can feed it from the bottom or from the side, or we can indeed, if we're feeding it back into a wall, something like that, directly from behind the cables can come in. Uh, the cables can be fed in and out that way. And we also have a cover here, which we'd use for just a safety uh, for attaching it on there. So what I'm gonna do at this point is, I'm just going to uh, bring into focus here a, a sample camera here. So this is a Hikvision camera here. So we can see the base here. So what we would do is we'd unscrew the base, mount it on, and then eventually at the very end here, we'd mount the, uh, the camera directly onto uh, the unit itself. And uh, so like what percentage of people are using this? Most professional installers are gonna use this base simply because far, far uh, better way of doing it because you have no exposed cables when you're using it. Particularly if you're running it directly back into a building, there's absolutely no exposure. The easiest thing in the world is for somebody to come along with a snips and just cut the cable themselves. This really does protect it. And it's a neater, tighter finish and you're, get, you're gaining an, an extra level of water tightness, etc. So they do sell quite well for us. Um, it's limited in terms of what I'll use there. The total diameter on this, you'll know from actually looking at your camera pretty well, the diameter weight on that is uh, 88.5. So, um, and that's a fixed uh, camera that we're just using with the example here. So um, you can see further specs directly on the freetv.ie website.